Insects are the most diverse group of organisms on our planet. There are around 900,000 different kinds of bugs we know of, representing around 80% of the world's species. Plant hopper nymphs, sometimes referred to as flatids, may be confused with a walking snowflake at first glance, but they are actually surrounded by a white cottony wax that covers its body, and may be often seen on plant stems. Their group exceeds 12,500 described species worldwide, and can be found all across the globe in various habitats and climates. Many plant hoppers prosper most during wetter than average years and decline after a drought. Some entomologists have noted that plant hoppers seem to be most numerous in ecologically stable habitats, such as wet prairies or wetlands. If you enjoy this content and would like to see more, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Plant hoppers are often vectors for plant diseases, especially phytoplasmas, and can be transmitted by plant hoppers when feeding. Both adults and nymphs feed by sucking sap from plants, in doing so, the nymphs produce copious quantities of honeydew. In the time between hatching and becoming full-grown adults, tiny plant hopper nymphs put on a flashy show. The plant hoppers can secrete a waxy substance from their abdomen that results in strange, fiber-optic-like tails. These decorations serve at least two purposes, to encourage predators to stare in awe instead of eating them, and to help them glide as they fall. Different plant hopper species have different extruding tails. This one here resembles a feathery dandelion, offering a clever form of camouflage. The plant hopper may seem large in the photo above, but in reality, it is so tiny that you might think it was a mote of dust flickering through the woods. As the plant hopper gets ready to do its favorite thing, hop around, it moves the waxy threads into a sleek line. It moves ever so slowly before making a great leap, and it can fan the threads back out for an extra boost while it's in the air. Due to their massive distribution, they are not endangered in any way, and can be seen in most gardens around the world hopping from leaf to leaf. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it interesting. Check out this next video on the strongest animals on earth. Have a great day and stay tuned for more videos on wildlife.